need you to get the goddess. And what can I say? Another day, another Z Fold 2 case unboxing. Two came in today. I apologize. I opened one by accident because it didn't show that it was shipped and delivered. It showed it was shipped, but it's not supposed to arrive until a week or two from now. I cheated a little bit. I already know what it looks like and I know how well it works for me because I couldn't resist but to put it on after I opened it up. That being said, let me also apologize for my neighbors cutting the grass and any miscellaneous dog barks you might hear during this recording. Enough of everything. Let's hop into this so it's not too long a video. I am going to put both of these cases in this video because they are reasonably priced cheap cases that you can find on Amazon that you will wait about two weeks to receive. I have this IKDG clear matte case for the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 2. I paid $12 for this case. Probably one of the cheaper cases that I've purchased. 12 bucks, so I didn't have high expectations for it. It was a nice matte finish. It shipped in this protective, you know, it's padded in here, but this was it. Some foam and a mold. So my, my expectations were not really high when I pulled it out, but I said 12 bucks, right? So let's get this one off. It's, it's maintained itself pretty good here. Yes, I have had a drop since I've had it in the case and no scratches. Probably needs a wipe off right about now, but nothing happened to my phone. Very happy I had a case at the time. Spoiler alert for everybody who always asks. I'm giving it to you at the beginning of this video. This case is way too thick. It has a lip from I don't know where right there. So the swipe gestures are a no go. As far as the back goes, it's lovely. It's nice and thin. It's much thinner than the Gear 4 Crystal Palace case. And there's no fingerprints. Don't you like the matte finish? Lovely. I'm sorry, charging port, speaker, mic. Speaker, mic. I got access to fingerprint scanner. It's been a minute. There's nothing over the volume rocker. That's probably why I have access, unlike on the Crystal Palace. And no lip on the camera. Speaking of camera protectors, I'll take this moment to segue and tell you that the only camera protector I have been able to purchase that does not cause ghosting when you are using the flash is the White Stone Dome. I'm not a fan of White Stone Dome, but Spigen has issues. NF orange the company that i got my screen protectors from theirs caused this ghosting like so just because you got protection back here try to take a picture with the flash on and see how good your camera protector is if it causes ghosting then it's not going to be useful for you at night or anytime you have the flash going all right we got that in there the more you know front doesn't move much Plenty of room to charge here. Anytime they leave you that much space down here, you're good with your charger. You can always tell when things are a little off. Fight my mind like a lot of you. I'll just do a hybrid thing to where I use the back of this case and the front of this one, even though they do not match. But it gives you a stark kind of difference of feeling. This matte finish in the glossy it's not as slick and I can get to the fingerprint, but that might work for me until I find something that is a complete case. For now, I'm gonna say uh, I could do hybrid, but I could not do this complete matte case. The back is just gorgeous though. The front is way too thick for swipe gestures. If you have missed my unboxing of the Gear 4 Crystal Palace case, I will link it in the video here and gestures aren't as bad but you know when you just know it's not it yeah the, I don't have access to the fingerprint scanner so all of these cases that I've tried so far have had an issue or two or three this is the IKDG case it's on Amazon link in the description 
if you wanna give this a try with another case. Or if you don't mind the thickness in the front, it's gonna keep you from having the fingerprints because it's matte. And it's two weeks and it's 12 bucks. Would I use this case? I'd use it as a hybrid. I'd use it with the other case front. I would not use this complete case as one. Somebody's gonna come along months from now and make banging cases. But as for now, nobody knew how this front was gonna be set up. So they didn't know that shoddy thickums wasn't gonna work on the front. Next up, we have the Hello Land Samsung Z Fold 2 5G case. It's supposed to be carbon fiber gold. Now I did not for a black one. They have it in black and then they have black with different strips of color. I went back and looked at this and I can't really believe I paid this much for this case. It was 26 bucks. So the ones with the strips you can get with a strip of blue, a strip of red, or a strip of yellow. And uh, yeah, if I don't like this, it's definitely going back. Well, can you imagine that? I might not even need my unboxing knife. So this case looked like it's been partially opened already. It had a little rip and I just kind of extended that. So I don't even need my unboxing knife. I probably could have left that in the house. Speaking of which, I'm doing these unboxings outside because it's still nice. Even though it's fall, it doesn't feel like fall. Man, it's nice out there. Why is the box sticking to the bag? That's nasty. Look at that, look at all that glue. Ain't that nasty? Ooh. All right. Presentation is nasty. <laughs> Yeah, it looks a little thin. It, that is a pretty gold. I think it's gonna clash. Like, I don't know what my, with my phone, but it's pretty. Oh, the doggies. Gotta love the doggies. They're in all my videos. So yeah, reflective kind of, I'm not believing this is real carbon fiber. Maybe it is, maybe it ain't. Nah, that ain't. It feels like fabric or something, but this is definitely plastic back here. <sighs> a little bit of give there. Get this foam out of here. And let's see how thick this front case is. We all we we always go back in first, don't we? Let's let's not jinx ourselves. Maybe if I do it the other way around, it'll turn out better, right? Pushed all the way in. Alright. Uh not as bad as initially, but eh. Meh. This feels like it's gonna be a meh case. Yeah, thickums again. Yeah. So, spoiler alert, I did find a clear rinky and ordered it today. I was kind of waiting to hear back from rinky. They said they would send me cases. I've heard nothing from rinky and I see them selling, so I'm gonna buy one. I'm not always pressed for a company to send me a free case. I wanna protect my device, hey. Nice on the inside, just like all the rest of them have been, because they close like they're supposed to. I've always learned to push these over before I tell y'all how things are working. Plenty of room for charging. Charging port, microphone, speaker, mic, speaker, access to the fingerprint, scanner, Plenty of room for your volume rocker. And just all that thickness on the front screen. Like I could almost pour a bowl of cereal into that. <laughs> Let me stop. This ain't it, Chief. If I can stick this dog, I wanna go strangle my neighbor's dog. If you can see the lip, like I can already tell you the swipe gestures aren't gonna work on this. I know what y'all was trying to do. You trying to protect that front screen. But the person who comes out with the case that brings this down and sets it out here, y'all gonna be winner, winner, chicken dinner. Same for this side. It's gonna be a lot thinner than what they're providing on these cases. So I'm about ready to replace my hinge protector because it was not centered at all when I applied it. And I'm still good with my uh, inside protector take this time out to thank y'all for 
sitting through these videos about these cases that haven't seemed to be working. But I do this as a service to y'all. I appreciate the people reaching out to me, suggesting all these foreign cases that, I mean, I'm waiting on a foreign case now and it was supposed to arrive yesterday. So I jumped out of the window on this one and gotten one that was kind of suggested by somebody. I was kind of interested in it to begin with, but where I sit now with cases and everything, it's just, I don't like buying cases that I cannot return because then you end up with 40 and $50 worth of cases that you can't use, even if they're cheap. You know, they start to add up after a while. Like I said, I'll keep, I'll keep the $12 one because it's $12. So yeah, I, they swipe. you ain't getting no swipe gestures with this bad boy. But again, it'll work good as a hybrid because that back piece feels nice. Where's my front piece from the Crystal Palace here? That's, you know, that's a name, Crystal Palace. The Crystal Palace is slicker than both of the cases I have open, unboxed today. I don't think this one is $26 worth. This is worth 12 bucks like the other one. And that's what they should have sold it as. Well, is me. <laughs> I'm gonna wrap up this video. I'm sorry about the alerts on my phone, people. And I will tell you this, I am gonna go the hybrid method, but I'm gonna use that frosted back over there. These thinner cases are hard to get off. I'm gonna roll with the mad back. Gosh, that's not my dog, y'all. Sounds like he needs something though and the crystal phallus front. That's how we are gonna roll with it. Me and my tacky cases. And it doesn't do the Hollywood shuffle. I appreciate y'all stopping by, joining me on the case journey. And maybe, just maybe, at some point, we'll get a case that works. Until then, I'll keep shooting my other content I do have a couple of other things I need to put up on the channel besides case videos. These have kept me busy though. Um, I appreciate all the new subs. We're almost at a thousand subs, y'all. I appreciate y'all. And I hope to catch you on the next video. I hope y'all stay safe out there. Holla!